Okay, so first off is uh, T wave inversion. We will look at um, a scenario of subendocardial ischemia. Okay. Now, this is the diagram. If you can see that this arrow is coming, this is the normal cardiac vector, the bold one. Okay. And then there are dotted lines. We'll explain that in a bit. And this is where the ischemia has occurred, the subendocardial surface. So this is the nidus, this is the point of ischemia. And obviously the, the ECG waves will get disturbed. The disturbance is picked up by this lead right here. And the disturbance, as you can see, is the abnormal inversion, inversion of the T wave. You should remember, uh, if you remember your ECG, re, uh, ECG rules, that normally the T wave is not inverted, rather it is a dome-shaped positive uh, wave uh, because uh, if the repolarization wave uh, moves away from a positive recording electrode, then a normal T wave, positive deflection T wave uh, is recorded. However, in this case, that is not happening as we'll see here in, 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 in this action potential diagram. Remember that the dotted line here is the normal uh, uh, myocardium ECG. Uh, which is of the epicardium, okay? So the epicardium, the surface myocardium is normal in this case, and the dotted line action potential represents the epicardial action potential, okay? However, the bold action potential is the endocardial action potential, which is, which is where the ischemia has taken place. You will notice that the endocardial action potential is clearly has all the signs of the ischemic action potential, which we have just described very quickly. It has more positive RMP. Uh, it's all of its uh, 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 sections are uh, lesser uh, uh, to the normal action potential, uh, the breadth and everything. And it very importantly now, it repolarizes earlier than the repolarization of the epicardium. So let me explain it here. This patch here, it will repolarize earlier than the surrounding overlying epicardium, okay? So while the cardiac vector normally, and again, you need to uh, uh, go brush up on your rules of ECG and the vectorial analysis where I discuss this in detail, while the normal ECG is still, uh, the cardiac vector is still pointing towards this direction. However, uh, the ischemic uh, area, the early repolarizations will deviate along these dotted arrows. And so it is these deviations because of the early repolarizations which will cause the inversion of T wave. This is uh, the explanation of T wave inversion in myocardial ischemia.